Welcome to the brand new video. In this video, we will discuss about Uruguay, which you people generally don't know. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, so you can keep up to date with all our latest content. Uruguay is a country located in the southeastern region of South America. It shares borders with Argentina to the west and south and Brazil to the north. The capital and largest city of Uruguay is Montevideo. Uruguay is the second smallest country in South America, after Suriname. The official language spoken in Uruguay is Spanish. The population of Uruguay is around 3.5 million people. Uruguay gained independence from Spain on August 25, 1825. It is the only country in South America where same-sex marriage is legal nationwide. Uruguay is known for its progressive social policies, including legalizing marijuana and abortion. The country has a high Human Development Index HDI, and ranks high in Global Peace Indexes. The Uruguay River forms the western border of the country, separating it from Argentina. The official currency of Uruguay is the Uruguayan Peso UYU. The country has a temperate climate, with mild summers and winters. Uruguay is known for its beef production and is one of the world's top exporters of beef. Football is the most popular sport in Uruguay, and the national team has won the FIFA World Cup twice. The national dish of Uruguay is the asado, a barbecue featuring various meats cooked over an open flame. Mate, a traditional South American caffeine-rich infused drink, is popular in Uruguay. The Uruguayan flag features nine horizontal stripes alternating white and blue, with a white square in the upper left corner containing a golden sun. The country is named after the Uruguay River, which means, River of the Painted Birds, in the Guarani language. Uruguay has a coastline along the Atlantic Ocean, with popular beach destinations such as Punta del Este and Piriopolis. The country has a strong literary tradition, with notable writers including Juan Carlos Juanetti and Mario Benedetti. Uruguay is considered one of the most secular countries in the Americas, with a high percentage of non-religious people. Carnival is a significant cultural event in Uruguay, with vibrant celebrations featuring music, dance, and colorful costumes. The legislative branch of Uruguay is bicameral, consisting of the Chamber of Representatives and the Chamber of Senators. Uruguay has a presidential republic form of government. The current president of Uruguay is Luis Lacalle Pou, who took office in March 2020. The economy of Uruguay is largely based on agriculture, services, and tourism. The country has a strong tradition of social welfare programs and universal health care. Uruguay is home to the world's longest national anthem, with 11 verses. The official national anthem of Uruguay is, Hymno Nacional de Uruguay, National Anthem of Uruguay. Uruguay has one of the highest literacy rates in South America, with nearly 98% of its population being literate. The country has a stable democracy and has experienced relatively low levels of political unrest compared to some of its neighbors. Uruguay was the first country in the world to provide every schoolchild with a free laptop and internet access. The country has a high standard of living and ranks well in measures of personal freedom and democracy. Uruguay is known for its progressive environmental policies, including efforts to promote renewable energy and protect natural habitats. The Guarani people were among the indigenous groups inhabiting Uruguay before the arrival of European settlers. The Spanish explorer Juan Díaz de Solís was one of the first Europeans to explore the region of present-day Uruguay in the early 16th century. Montevideo, the capital city, is known for its vibrant culture, historic architecture, and waterfront promenade, La Rambla. The Estadio Centenario in Montevideo was the site of the first FIFA World Cup final in 1930, which Uruguay won. The colonial city of Colonia del Sacramento, founded by the Portuguese in the 17th century, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uruguay has a strong tradition of gaucho culture, with horse riding and traditional folk music playing significant roles. The national flower of Uruguay is the sabo, a species of flowering tree native to South America. Uruguay has a relatively small wealth gap compared to many other countries, with a strong middle class. The country has a diverse wildlife, including species such as capybaras, pumas, and armadillos. Uruguay is home to several national parks and protected areas, preserving its natural beauty and biodiversity. 
The Palacio Legislativo in Montevideo is the seat of the Uruguayan parliament and is known for its neoclassical architecture. The country has a rich musical heritage, with genres such as candom, merga, and tango being popular. Uruguay has hosted several international events, including the FIFA World Cup and the Copa America soccer tournaments. The Uruguay Round of Trade Negotiations, which concluded in 1994, led to the creation of the World Trade Organization WTO. The national emblem of Uruguay features a golden sun with a face, surrounded by laurel branches and capped by a Phrygian cap. Uruguay has a strong tradition of social activism and trade unionism, with labor rights being protected by law. The country has a rich architectural heritage, with influences ranging from colonial Spanish to modernist styles. Uruguay is one of the founding members of the United Nations and has played an active role in international diplomacy. The country has a low crime rate compared to many other Latin American nations, making it one of the safest countries in the region. Education is highly valued in Uruguay, with public schools providing free education up to the university level. The legal drinking age in Uruguay is 18 years old. The country has a diverse culinary scene, with influences from European, African, and indigenous cuisines. Uruguay is known for its wine production, with regions such as Canelones and Maldonado producing high-quality wines. The annual Dia del Patrimonio, Heritage Day, allows visitors to explore historic buildings and cultural sites across Uruguay for free. The National Museum of Visual Arts in Montevideo houses an extensive collection of Uruguayan and international artwork. Uruguay has a strong tradition of social democracy, with a focus on equality and social justice. The country has a high level of press freedom and ranks well in global press freedom indexes. The Uruguayan peso is subdivided into 100 centesimos. Uruguay is a member of the Southern Common Market, Mercosur, a regional trade bloc in South America. The country has a well-developed infrastructure, with modern highways, railways, and ports. The telecommunications sector in Uruguay is highly advanced, with widespread access to mobile and internet services. The average life expectancy in Uruguay is around 77 years for males and 83 years for females. The literacy rate among adults aged 15 and older in Uruguay is nearly 100%. The country has a strong tradition of socialized medicine, with a comprehensive public healthcare system. Uruguay has a high rate of internet penetration, with over 70% of its population having internet access. The country is known for its laid-back lifestyle and relaxed atmosphere, earning it the nickname, the Switzerland of South America. Uruguay is home to the world's longest-running carnival, which lasts for over 40 days and features parades, music, and dancing. The Plaza Independencia in Montevideo is the main square of the city and features a statue of national hero José Artigas. Uruguay is a popular destination for ecotourism, with opportunities for birdwatching, hiking, and wildlife observation. The country has a rich cultural heritage, with influences from indigenous, European, and African traditions. Uruguay has a high rate of urbanization, with over 95% of its population living in urban areas. The country has a strong tradition of democratic governance, with regular free and fair elections. The legislative branch of Uruguay is responsible for passing laws and overseeing the government's activities. The executive branch of Uruguay is headed by the president, who is elected by popular vote for a five-year term. Uruguay has a strong tradition of separation of powers, with checks and balances ensuring government accountability. The judiciary branch of Uruguay is independent and responsible for interpreting and applying the law. Uruguay is known for its progressive tax policies, with a relatively high tax burden on the wealthy. The country has a mixed economy, with a combination of state-owned enterprises and private businesses. The banking sector in Uruguay is well-developed, with a stable financial system and strong regulations. The country has a high level of income equality compared to many other Latin American nations. Uruguay is a member of the Union of South American Nations, UNICER, a regional organization promoting economic integration and cooperation. The country has a strong tradition of political pluralism, with multiple political parties competing in elections. Uruguay is known for its high-quality education system, with free public education available to all citizens. The University of the Republic in Montevideo is the largest and most prestigious university in Uruguay. 
The country has a strong tradition of environmental conservation, with protected areas covering over 10% of its territory. Uruguay is one of the least corrupt countries in Latin America, according to Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index. The country has a diverse population, with descendants of European immigrants, Africans, and indigenous peoples. Uruguay has a strong tradition of social solidarity, with government programs providing assistance to those in need. The country has a high rate of social mobility, with opportunities for upward economic and social mobility. Uruguay is known for its high quality of life, with low levels of poverty and inequality. The country has a strong tradition of cultural exchange, with influences from European, African, and indigenous cultures. Uruguay has a rich tradition of literature, music, and visual arts, with many artists achieving international recognition. The country has a strong tradition of human rights advocacy, with a commitment to upholding civil liberties and political freedoms. Uruguay is known for its progressive stance on issues such as LGBTQ rights and gender equality. The country has a strong tradition of secularism, with a separation of church and state enshrined in the constitution. Uruguay is a member of the Organization of American States OAS, a regional organization promoting democracy and human rights. The country has a strong tradition of labor rights, with unions playing a significant role in shaping labor policies. Uruguay is known for its high level of social cohesion, with strong community ties and solidarity. The country has a diverse culinary tradition, with influences from Spanish, Italian, and indigenous cuisines. Uruguay is known for its production of yerba mate, a traditional South American beverage. The country has a strong tradition of sports, with soccer, basketball, and rugby being popular among its population. Uruguay has a strong tradition of environmental activism, with grassroots movements advocating for conservation and sustainability. The country has a high level of gender equality, with women holding prominent positions in politics, business, and academia. Uruguay is known for its vibrant music scene, with genres such as candom, tango, and merga being popular. The country has a strong tradition of social welfare programs, with government assistance available to those in need. Uruguay is known for its progressive approach to drug policy, with a focus on harm reduction and public health. The country has a strong tradition of democratic governance, with regular elections and peaceful transitions of power. Uruguay is known for its strong rule of law with an independent judiciary and robust legal protections for citizens. The country has a strong tradition of free speech and freedom of the press, with a diverse media landscape. Uruguay is known for its high level of political stability, with a long history of democratic governance. The country has a strong tradition of public education, with free schooling available to all citizens. Uruguay is known for its high level of social inclusion, with policies aimed at reducing poverty and inequality. The country has a strong tradition of environmental conservation, with protected areas covering a significant portion of its territory. Uruguay is known for its high level of human development, with a strong emphasis on health, education, and social welfare. The country has a strong tradition of civic engagement, with high levels of voter turnout and political participation. If you like the video, we'll share it with your friends and family members on WhatsApp and Facebook wall. I encourage you to like this video too or did you know that you will meet your friends through the video till then.